Let's hear from Gustavo Fring of Los Pollos Hermanos. I am delighted to report that the last quarter Los Pollos Hermanos revenues have increased 8.3%. I think that Gustavo Fring is one of the most fascinating characters on Better Call Saul. He has all of these opposing character traits, able to handle a hierarchy, and he has this charisma, this calm about him. Whatever he does, he does completely meticulously. In addition to our continued focus on our core menu, we are very proud to introduce a new offering. He's able to maintain a hierarchy and to be able to follow certain rules if they go by his code in order to get ahead. I invite you to taste our delicious Spice Curls. The curly fry <laughs> with the southwestern kick. He's also such a strong perfectionist. No matter what he does, he's gonna do it to the best of his abilities. He has this chicken restaurant that he's running as a front, but he actually cares about everything that goes into it. You can hear the passion in his voice about his new menu and the way that his profits is going. And I think that that's one of the main keys to his success is that he thinks of all of the tiny details, but that's also what makes him so dangerous. Here we are. The bathroom has heated floors. You'll find the dial just under the light switch. And you see the first thing he does when he enters his room is he checks it all out. He's looking to see if it lives up to his standards. And he's so controlled in the way that he handles his emotions, which for me is always the scariest of bad guys is when they have this extreme control over the way that they feel about things. The only thing that he gives is a slight nod of approval. This controls the drapes. Many of our guests have enjoyed the rodeo. It's in town tomorrow at Reliance Stadium. I highly recommend it. Oh, thank you. I'm only staying the night. And he's so patient. He lets the bellhop go through everything, even though he's not even going to be using it. He's always exceptionally courteous. He understands decorum and how that decorum makes him look. He cares about his appearance, not just in his dress, which is meticulous, but also in his manners. And like a lot of perfectionistic type A personalities, he has some obsessive traits. You can see the ritualistic way that he places down his wallet, his cards. He's done this many times. There's a specific place where he likes it. And things that aren't in his place causes him a certain amount of anxiety because that's his way of controlling the world around him, especially living such a dangerous life. If he keeps himself in control and the world around him in control. His belief system is that then there's less of a chance that bad things can happen because he's analytical. He's calculated everything that happens around him. I love the little tiny shake that he does when he puts the jacket on the coat hanger so that it all hangs just right and that equidistant area where they should be hanging. Something that I think very few people do, but people that are meticulous and detail oriented, they want it to be right. His motto would be, if you're not going to do it perfectly, why do it at all? And he does that in every area of his life. There's very few moments where I ever see Gustavo actually let down his guard and let himself feel genuine emotion in any way. And once he's done all of his rituals and put everything there, you can see that slight smile and that relaxing breath of that release of stress. Now I can relax. Everything has been put into its proper order. And that's what happens with people that are more on the obsessive scale. If things are out of place, they don't feel relaxed because it's that feeling of wanting control, that illusion of control, that is their safety net. Even though it's an illusion, as long as you think it, your brain will believe it. I don't think fear is a great motivator. A dog who bites every owner his hand can only be disciplined with a firm hand or 
put down. In so many ways, Gustavo Fring is this lawful, evil character, cold, calculating, analytical. He has his own code. He's learned to live through this hierarchy and to be able to use society's rules to be able to get ahead. He handles things without any empathy or care. It's just mathematics. Things that make sense, even if they're dear to him, what has to happen will happen. Whatever he needs to do in order to get ahead, he will do it with exacting precision. The way that he speaks, this calm demeanor, it doesn't leave Mike any way of play. He understands once he says it that to Gustavo that makes perfect logical sense and there's no place for empathy in running a business. It's just the mathematics, so Mike doesn't even try to argue because he knows it's moot. So the odds are he's searching for Varga, finds him alive, gets him to talk, Alone in foreign territory, no one he can trust. He is smart, but he's not gonna last. I love Mike. I love how Mike is doing his best to be able to fight for Nacho. You can tell how much he cares. Mike wears his heart on his sleeve, even though he's done everything he can to try to protect everyone from that. But he's really trying to give the best logical argument to try to persuade Gustavo. He's gonna get caught. When you're already antagonizing the dragon and then something else bad happens. For most people, because they broke this glass, it would cause that extreme of emotions or getting really angry or you would yell at someone. Continue. <laughs> but I love it with Gustavo. He's calm and poised. He lifts up his pant legs so that he'll be comfortable in order to pick up the glass. And you would think that maybe he's faking that he's calm, but this didn't even register on his anxiety scale. He's dealt with so many things that this doesn't bother or trigger him at all. That's the thing that makes Gustavo Fring so terrifying, cold, ice running through his veins that very little bothers or flusters him. That is a very dangerous adversary. El padre de Varga. Tráelo aquí. No, you're not doing that. I don't have anything else to say to it, but I just love this. I love it when push comes to shove that like Mike is there and like they're gonna like have this battle in, but it's just still so controlled and calm. There's a certain amount of like decorum and respect that's between both of them. So what do you want from me? I think it best that Signora Cortazar doesn't know about our association. I like to keep my business as far from here as possible. You look much better. I am glad. I love that he says he is glad, but there's no emotion of glad <laughs> that comes out. Like, there's like very few times that you get to see any emotion for him, but that is him being glad, his controlled glad. So I'm here to see what a big heart you have. You throw money at these people, they bow low. I am the doctor's friend, nothing more. They have no idea you finance the whole place. I prefer it that way. This is the huge enigma that is Gustavo Frank. He has this village that he's financed and taken care of the people here. Is it done for his own guilt? Does he feel guilt? Does he do this for altruistic means? Is it his feeling like he wants to leave something behind that's pure and untouched by the things that he's done in the world? Is this his way of trying to right some sort of wrong? And is that supposed to balance the scales? Make up for everything else you do? It makes up for nothing. I am what I am. Ugh. And I love it. I love his clarity of being able to accept all of the darkness in his actions and that he's done this, in his words, just to do it. That he's not trying to write anything. It just happens to be something that he's done. So I'm going to work for one drug dealer killing other drug dealers. You know better. You know what they are. And you are so very different from them? Yes, I am different. 
And that's the thing. Gustavo Fring is different. He does what is necessary to be done, but he wants to show Mike that he isn't just some cold-blooded, animalistic killer. He does what is necessary, but not beyond that. He follows his code, and if he says something, he will do his best to be able to get it done unless one of his rules has been broken and he needs to right a certain wrong. And in those ways, he follows all of those natural order rules of a really good, lawful, evil character. Except for that village. That this town is a dedication to his friend that he lost and he's able to create a protective bubble from the ills of the world, the ills that he in many ways contributes to. I think that in a way this does right a wrong, but more so for someone that he cares about than just for his own guilt or feeling bad. If you're wanting to learn more of the psychology of your other shows, please check out some of my other videos. And you can also check out my Arcane Season 1 Jinx Complete Saga. That's a compilation video of all my Jinx related videos. It's nearly two hours long and available ad free, sponsor free only on Nebula. And Nebula is bundled in for free when you sign up with today's sponsor, CuriosityStream. You can check out CuriosityStream at curiositystream.com slash GeorgiaDow or clicking on the link below. And right now, today, because you're watching this video, you can get CuriosityStream for 26% off, less than $15 a year. That's less than the price of a movie ticket or a pizza, and that includes thousands of amazing documentaries and series, such as David Attenborough's Light on Earth. Why do animals produce their own light? For centuries, we could only marvel at the mysteries of bioluminescence. Like, wouldn't that be amazing to be bioluminescent? Like, I would completely love that. It would be so avatar. <laughs> now we can begin to reveal the amazing truth about these living lights. Signing up is the best way to support educational creators directly, and it's also the best deal in streaming today. So, for over 26% off CuriosityStream, less than $15 a year, and Nebula bundled in for free, just click on the button on the screen or head on over to curiositystream.com slash GeorgiaDow. So you can let me know what are your thoughts on this town that Gustavo has protected and funded. And hopefully if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you would share it with other people so that it could be, get a little bit more traction. And thank you so much for watching my channel. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video.